There's some level of risk um, with driving an EV. There's some level of risk riding a motorcycle without a helmet as well. But as tech evolves, Harrisburg Fire Chief Brian Enterline says so does the response in the firefighting community. If we have an electric vehicle fire, uh, as, as long as that vehicle isn't endangering a building, we're going to leave it burn because the environmental impact to the thousands and thousands of gallons of water that you got to put onto that fire just to, just to suppress it, you're never going to put it completely out. Uh, it is a significant environmental hazard. Just this week, a Tesla in Upper Allen bursting into flames at a Sheets EV charging station. Fire crews working to battle the flames, eventually dousing the car's battery with water. Chief Enderline says it was lucky that no one was hurt and that they were able to put the fire out, but an unlucky situation nonetheless. You know, when we look at the number of cars out there, I don't think that they're a danger to the public. I don't think they're a danger to the owners. Uh, the, the only way they become a danger is when they catch on fire. As the car was towed away, crews remaining on scene for any possible spills, runoffs, or possible reignition of the fire, hoping to keep an already hazardous situation from getting any worse. It's just another mode of transportation and accidents are going to happen. Uh, same way with a motorcycle, same way with a gas-powered car.